the reason I chose plastic surgery <clears throat> and what I love about plastic surgery is it allows us to use a lot of creativity in what we do. And that's from a technical standpoint, artistic standpoint. But above and beyond that, uh, there's a lot of interaction with people. Where else can you go to work in America and have a patient come in and, and, and tell you they have a particular problem? You take them to the operating room for an hour, two hours, whatever it takes to address that problem, technically fix it. Once that craftsmanship is done, they heal. We try to get them to heal quickly. And when they do, there's this transformation of them in terms of their self-confidence, their self-esteem. And many times I've heard from, from a patient, thank you, doctor, you've changed my life. In what other area of life can you do that? We educate the patients as fully as we can when they first come to us about what the various options are. Work out a treatment plan for the patient. It may mean a surgical procedure, which we perform in our state-of-the-art surgical facility called Surgiplex. It may mean non-surgical rejuvenation in Biora Spa. It may mean a trip to Physique Nouveau, our fitness center, whereby we help educate the patients about nutrition and exercise and have a certified personal trainer work with them to accomplish their goals. It's important to have the surgeon properly credentialed or accredited. In this case, uh, I am accredited or credentialed by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. I'm a member of the American Society for Plastic Surgery, the Aesthetic Society for Plastic Surgery. Here's important groups that focus primarily on cosmetic surgery and, and proper cosmetic uh, surgery of the plastic surgery patient. Above and beyond the surgeon is the facility where procedures might be performed. In our, instant, in our case, uh, the majority of our procedures are performed in Surgiplex, which has been accredited by Medicare and the Joint Commission. Finally, the anesthesiologist, the person administering anesthesia, can be done by a nurse anesthetist, or in our case, by a group of board-certified anesthesiologists who've worked with us for 20 years. We work with the anesthesiologist day in and day out. And it's like any good team working together, the anesthesiologist with the surgeon, supplemented by our surgical technicians, our registered nurses, we just do nothing but this kind of cosmetic surgery. And therefore, we find that we're on the same page and we can deliver a very high quality, reproducible result. And I think very carefully the night before I'm gonna operate on somebody, what specifically we're gonna do, what the operative plan is. But I think when, when I and my team go about it in that way, we tend to get predictable, reproducible results and our patients recover rapidly and well from the surgery. So we don't trivialize it. When we do the procedure itself, uh, we and our, our team in the operating room, our board certified anesthesiologists, are very focused on having our patients recover as rapidly as possible. So that we've implemented a number of steps, pre and post operative medications to help that happen. The anesthesiologists administer quick acting anesthesia drugs that get out of the patient's system quickly and along with very, various anti-emetic medications that are given by the anesthesiologist. Patients have little risk of nausea and vomiting. They can most often leave our surgical facility quite quickly after the procedure with little hangover effect, little likelihood of nausea and vomiting. When they go home, we administer uh, particular medications that make their pain level quite low. We have them begin at a week post-operatively a series of manual lymphatic drainage massage in our spa done by a specially trained manual lymphatic drainage massage therapist. That seems to be uh, significantly beneficial to the patients in terms of hastening their recovery. They lose their swelling, they lose their black and blue very quickly. We can change the way a patient looks, but we also change the way a patient feels about themselves. And so often we hear from patients afterwards, they wish they'd done that surgery sooner. We get compliments all the time from our patients. I think patients appreciate how passionate we are about what we do, how we love what we do, how we take great professional pride in the work that we do, our staff working together to make the whole experience as pleasant as possible for the patients. I think they understand our commitment toward providing them the highest level of service possible. I learned years ago as a surgical resident that when you as a surgeon agree to operate on a patient, it's an awesome commitment. And that you and that patient bond. And when you bond, you go through the surgical procedure together. And the two people that care most about that surgical result are the surgeon and the patient. 
so that I'm fully committed to the patients and my staff too are committed to the patient and making the whole process as pleasant and as rapid a recovery for the patients as possible.